We are. The cats are now fast asleep. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm actually typing on my mobile device because I've just added a pin to their location because they're in the middle of two drainage systems. And it's going to be difficult to try and find them again a little bit later. There we go. So I've just saved that. That's very important that we're able to come back here this afternoon. And I don't think that they're going to move much now. Like I said earlier, they had traveled a fair distance. We had tracks everywhere on Voyatella going towards Mambili, then back towards Sydney's Dam, which is in the far northern corner, and then all the way east again and around to the Buffalshook signs on the Buffalshook cut line, and now back into Voyatella. So that's crazy, just to give you an idea of how lions can actually move in the evening. And yes, it was nice and cool, lovely temperatures for them. But they did do a bit of chasing around and we were very, very lucky to witness the Nguhumas make, a, well, it was a failed attempt, unfortunately. But that's normally what we do see. So they're not the most successful hunters, but at least they gave it a bash and they put on a fantastic show for a very quiet morning. So thank you very much, Nguhumas. But the whole pride is not here. I've only seen three adult lionesses. And I've seen, I think, four cubs. It's a bit difficult to try and count them now as they're all piled on top of each other. I thought I've only seen four. There's one, two, three there. Oh, no, maybe there are six because there's a couple of others um, about 10 or 15 meters away from the other group. But the spot that they've laid in is a nice spot. They've got a little bit of the sort of dappled light on them, which will be, I'm sure they'll all be enjoying, the warm sun. And there's also a couple of trees there's a lot of buffalo thorn, there's even a leadwood here and a lot of bush willows, which is making it very difficult for us to try and get a view, but that's okay. Luckily, we've got a big camera that we can zoom in through the gaps. We've just got to find them. But they're probably quite tired now. They're probably a little bit sad that they didn't make or well, didn't get breakfast. Oh, they're so sweet. This is amazing, just grooming getting ready to settle down from the day. Now, Randy, you were wondering if the the cubs were bigger than adult leopards just yet. No, not quite. Uh, maybe the young, I think there were two young males, if I'm not mistaken, and four females, I think that was. But please help me out because I've completely forgotten and I was quickly trying to read my book because it's been months and months and months since I've last seen the Ngohumas, especially during the day. So I've like, my memory has relapsed and I have to dig in the filing cabinets as to who's who in the zoo. And um, so, yeah, so not quite, Randy, almost there. In another few months, maybe when they get to about a year and a half, they'd be the size of, say, a female a leopard. Not quite a male leopard just yet. But they're growing very, very quickly, though. I can't believe what beautiful little lions they've turned out to be. Now, I'm looking for my favorite little girl. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen her yet, but I don't think she'll have a floppy ear. I always thought that once she overcome her, her bouts of mange, that that ear wouldn't be swollen and it would sort of fix itself. I wonder if that's her over there. Now, you can see there's two, lion, little, two little cubs that are attempting to suckle. I highly doubt that they're getting anything. I think maybe it's just a comfort thing because they normally get weaned at about six or seven months and they're all basically a year, a year and a month, a year and 11 months. So they're, they're there, so they should not be suckling anymore. And Amber Eyes is not here. And I think the youngest in Gorma Lioness, her and Amber Eyes seem to have a, a, a close-knit relationship and they're often off together. So maybe they're just separated. And we, I think that they're close by because I did have that lioness track uh, heading down into the drainage line not too far from where we are now probably as the crow flies about a mile or so no little ones and now nancy you were saying uh, you were wondering if i knew uh, that there are suspicions that amber eyes has cubs yes i've actually chatted to tristan about it so that's quite exciting of course um but we'll have to just wait and see until we find her i suppose with little ones to be able to confirm something like that remember it's very delicate stages this whole denning process with lions and the chance of the lion surviving is actually quite slim so we'll have to really just wait she could have had cubs and then she could also lose them within the first two weeks that could happen too but I hope that that's not the case, and I hope that there are lots of little ones. Remember, we've seen amber eyes, and we've seen the youngest in Kahuma lioness on numerous occasions mating with the Birmingham boys. So hopefully 
one of the times that they mated with them, they actually would have taken and now had little cubs. But we'll have to wait and see. There's definitely, there's something suspicious going on around Shortcut Caligo. You don't just see lioness tracks going in often unless there's a kill there. There's most certainly no kill there because these guys would probably be there. So it is obviously nearing to the edge that there is a den site around there. But we'll keep an eye out, of course, every morning. We'll keep looking. Eventually, she, if she does have cubs, she will change her spot. She will move them away. But it's a nice place here. It's very thick big drainage systems, there's lots of little rocky areas that she can hide them, there's lots of termite mounds around here that would have old um, burrowings from aardvark and maybe hyenas would have used them in the past, so there's definitely many many spots, really good hiding places um, to stash little cubs, but it's exciting and right near camp too, and I hope that the Nguhumas are here to stay, they are my favourites, I love this pride of lions. They really are incredible, and especially having the opportunity to watch them grow. And I know that Brent, Jamie, and James are most certainly going to miss these guys because they've spent many, many, many hours following the lives of this family of lions. And it's really, really quite fantastic that we're able to do something like this. And we were sad, I can tell you right now, we we're all sad that we didn't see them throughout summer. What you doing? You deciding where you're gonna go? If you're gonna go back to sleep?